So recently I've been thinking a lot on this channel and I've been thinking what's next for the channel and um, to be completely 100% honest um, I don't think the future look is looking bright for the channel I don't think the future is looking bright for YouTube as a whole as a whole community um, for the reasons uh, that I've actually that P other P YouTubers are discussing everywhere on YouTube geeks and gamers um, pretty much random people on YouTube are talking about this that I haven't even watched but I still agree with so the rundown of what's going on um, YouTube actually got themselves sued by Kappa in the end um, they had this new uh, rule or new terms of service to where uh, you are unable to advertise your videos on ending streams or taking away playlists or taking away comments or taking away pretty much ending cards where you put stuff up in your video we will no longer have that another thing that they're going to be doing is the FTC will um, determine your vi if your video is uh, for kids and um, they can't they they don't know pop culture they don't know what anime is so for instance say you're doing a video on some rated e games or say you're doing a video on pokemon or some kind of like unboxing video the ftc or a Kappa will look at that video and say oh well that's for kids so it's going to be in the kids section and that's when you go downhill you can't win unless you like the stuff that this listed uh, that's that's for kids is very 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 vague and it's most of the stuff that we all i i mostly cover which is anime and gaming um and my audience is towards pretty much a, a wide variety like anybody who's willing to listen both adults more toned towards adults and kids very very little kids because their parents are idiots now the reason why i say this in this day and age as if kappa actually gave two shits about uh the kids as they claim that they do uh, we wouldn't have elementary schools teaching kids how to be drag queens and dancing and twerking on the tables like a bunch of fucking high and mighty morons instead kappa says okay we're gonna put youtube on the table and we're gonna sue people for forty two thousand dollars if they violate per video if they violate uh any of the kids kid friendly content the more that i've always looked into this the more i got discouraged on even making a single video youtube has been the place where I could uh, express my creativity, express my myself, and actually be myself. With this new law coming to 2020 and January 1st, um, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know if I can be um, what I've always been, and this, this is this is a crying shame because my channel was very growing successfully, and it was uh, being appreciated for what it was. Now uh, that they are taking some of the tools that we use to actually get our channel out there, and you know, get people to actually check their channel out on our their own accord, uh, we can no longer do that. And this is the thing, man. I know a lot of people are going to have a lot of issues getting revenue from YouTube now. Um, they can't even do anything with it. So this is the thing with me. Like I'm, I've always started this channel with the idea of making it nonprofit based. So the things that I've done on the channel and the hard work that I put into it was all for the enjoyment of the, of the videos that I've always made. Um, I've always done these videos with a lot of passion and with a lot of heart and this is where I am today and um, it's it's a shame to see where YouTube is going and what their direction that they're trying to go in that is a shame 
of what they are planning to do and they're hiding from people because they know that they're pissed we they know that we have a problem with this and they aren't going to give anything or try to do anything to get this resolved together so my advice if you guys are trying to start up a new channel don't because you are going to be liable you will be sued for $42,000 if per video if you dare step out of their line and it doesn't matter if you mark your videos as not kid friendly because that 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 really doesn't matter they will still find a way because this is our government that's doing this they'll find a way to actually uh take your channel down sue you for money that you don't have and um that's the end of it. Even if your channel gets taken down, I don't think you're going to be able to appeal it to YouTube because you probably would have to appeal it to um, F the FTC. And even then, it won't it won't go well because they want to see it fail. They want to see this uh, website fail. They want to see this app fail. Um, YouTube dug themselves into an unbreakable, unbelievable hole. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. How, how does this affect you? And how does this affect your followers that you follow? Well, to tell you the truth, it affects the whole entire YouTube community. So the people that you follow will probably be shut down. One. Two your channels that you uh, that um you're subscribed to probably won't even exist anymore because these guys are saying you know f it um we're not going to take that risk we would rather have a life and not have our livelihood taken down by the ftc and coppa for violating their stupid terms of service that is ridiculous by the way um my frustration is honestly towards these parents. These parents should freaking watch their damn kids better. And um, I know some of you out there that are parents and say, you know, you're doing your job, so that's fine. I'm not aimed towards that. I'm not aimed towards you guys. What I'm aimed at is these people that don't watch their kids. They don't watch what they're watching on YouTube, and this is why we're getting attacked. So we're being, for now, being liable. We're be now being responsible for the, for the fa for fucking parents that don't watch their kids' fuck ups because they don't want to ad admit that they're wrong on a lot of things that they're doing with their kids. Third and final thing that I think we need to do is we need to come together as a community. We um, <clears throat> we are in a place, an awkward place right now, and we are. I'm probably not going to be able to make content after January 1st. Um, so as much as uh, some people might disagree with me or some people might disagree with other people, we all need to come together as a YouTube community and we all need to see this through together. We need to get rid of this this new effect that's coming going down and there's a way to do this and change their minds and if not you know then we're pretty much sunk <clears throat> so in the description i will leave some videos three videos and in those three videos will have the appeals on what you think of this new coppa law and um what i want you guys to do is be really respectful and uh, and in the comments and tell you and tell them why that um um, you disagree, disapprove of this and you don't want to see this happen. Uh, there's got to be a better way to settle this or something like that. And um, that should um, be all I have, should have to say on, on this in the matter. Um, so if this law comes into pass and if this law actually comes to pass, um, my channel's done. I'm not going to risk getting sued $42,000. So what I'm going to do, if this law comes into effect, that I will be able, I'm, I'm going to be um, 
finishing up the promise stuff that I promised in the beginning of the year, which is finishing up Throwback Wednesday, Season 3, um, and all the other things I've promised you guys on this channel. And after that's completed, I don't know. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do. Who knows? I might just retire from YouTube. But here's the thing. I have loved what I've done for YouTube. I've loved the fact that I was able to create things and videos for five years. And that has has me heartbroken that I cannot do any for anything for more and do anything that I have always loved so for five years doing. It's just a shame. Everybody needs to stick together. Everybody needs to um, voice their opinion on why this is this is crazy. Um, because this is the only way. This is the only way we're going to have a successful career on YouTube. If, if this doesn't change, then we're pretty much done. Thank you guys for listening to what I have to say on this matter. And I hope... I really pray and hope that I'm able to keep making content for you guys. I have nothing but a great time putting all these videos uh, for five years together. And watching my channel grow was a blessing in disguise for me, especially. And I can't thank you guys enough. Shadow Gamer AX, signing off, guys. Till next time.